So there have been some pretty big changes that we have made to our eBay business over the last, I want to say six months. And I've kind of left it a little bit to let the sales come through to see whether or not these changes were worthwhile or not. So in this video today, I'm going to take you through the results, but I'm also going to let you in on the changes that we made as well to get the results. Hopefully it gives you a bit of an insight into your own eBay business and gets you thinking about ways to improve things for yourself as well. And um, we're going to go through 10 of the best sold sales items from the weekend just gone. Courtney and I will be both taking you through that and then we're going to go out and do some thrifting as well to try and find some great items that i believe can sell for some great money on ebay so big episode ahead guys let's get into it happy monday courtney happy monday happy monday to everybody watching hope you're selling well <laughs> <laughs> um cool, cool. it's so weird because i never see anybody that you talk to on camera what do you mean oh yeah oh, there's yeah. so many people there that are selling on ebay and I know. We're just doing our thing, but they're watching and following along. So hope you're selling well. Yeah. Um, first one here. Yeah. Mortal Kombat on the PlayStation Portable. Now, Courtney, you might have to bend the knees down here, but oh, we've no. got a couple. We are in the gym actually just before, and you said you had a sore knee. I know, everything just cracked. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> um, hopefully you're not too bad there. Yeah. We've got all these games here, which are PlayStation Portable. I think it's a great category to try and sell um, because they do turn over pretty quickly. This is actually a viewer that uh, purchased this, he, I, I said last week that we were doing 20% off for all viewers of the YouTube channel for anything on, on store. That's a thing. So if you ever want anything, definitely hit me up, but I don't want to do it through eBay because the reason it's 20% discount is the 15% in fees that we save if we do it on Instagram. Um, so please, if you want anything through the eBay page, um, let me know through Instagram and we'll be able to give you some good discount. I still obviously said yes, and we did sell this for 32. It's worth about 40. Um, but I did the 20% off for him. So thank you very much for that purchase. Next one is this. I'm going to butcher it. Ar Aria. Aria. Um, wallet. Um, we actually have two of these, but this one here is the one that sold for $34.95. Um, we had it listed for $40. Uh, did you accept a best offer? Is I did. Yeah. yeah, best offer on that. We also had another offer for this one for $30, but we declined that one. Mm. Um I actually think this one's nicer. Yeah, and they haven't been up for too long as well, so... Yeah. Um, we Got them in a private a, pick. Yeah, private pick through Selwyn. Yep. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, good brand. Cowboy Western, correct? Western Cowboy Boots. <laughs> Yeah, so we got, do we have some boots? Oh, we sold them. No, well, we usually, they sell pretty quick, but we've got, we do have somewhere, we'd have to jump on eBay and work it out, but yeah. it's like a $100 plus cowboy boot. Yeah, so, so. When we saw that. We're like, yeah, they're definitely, I feel like this is quite a trifold. I think it would be. Yeah, because I was. <laughs> we should have put that, did you put that in the title? I did. Oh, yeah. you did? Yeah. Well, maybe that's why it's sold. Yeah. Putting um, in good keywords. But yeah. Ariat Wallet. There, there you, you go. go, guys. Bit of a bolo brand. Yep. And also, Courtney, thank you for your work yeah. on this because you finished it off. I know, it looks so much better. It does. I think last, wow. last Monday's video, we were about halfway. Yeah. And I was saying that you were going to finish it off. Yeah. And did you ever? Yeah. We, uh, we got the Wii's cleaned out. Um, we got the Xbox games. Then even the bottom shelf that we were looking at before got cleaned out too. So mm -hmm. only good games on this shelf now. Whenever a game sells now, I'm always pretty excited um, because we know it's a good average sale for us. All the other ones are grouped up here and slowly mm -hmm. selling away. This one hasn't been paid for yet, but it just came through. Oh, good. $45 for a bunch of PlayStation 4 games. I'm confident they'll pay soon. Yeah. So I'll leave that to the side for you. Yeah. Um, a couple of Buffy games have sold on a best offer um, for number eight. Now, the reason why I took the best offers on these, which was slightly less than their true value, is because it was a group purchase. So we're going to put that into a large, which I think we've still got a few of. Yeah. Oh, wow. We've only got one, Courtney. Well, look at that. The last one. So the Buffies will go into here. We put them side by side. Uh, it costs us about 6 or $7 to ship it off that way. Um, we don't put any bubble wrap in there or anything like that. Nothing fancy. We just throw them in and they never come damaged. Um, $30 for one of them and $37 or something for the other. Mm -hmm. So they're going for about $65 odd for the two. Um, there are comps on eBay around the $40 to $45 price point for these games though. So selling them for $30, $37. Uh, is, is less than what they're actually worth. Yeah. But when you sell them together, save a little bit of money on postage. Always happy to take a group purchase. Buffy, two very good games to try and find on the Xbox. Next one is these Tarzos collector album. The Tarzos? Yeah. I remember these. 
I remember them. I didn't have them when I was growing up, but... You didn't? No. Um, but this is actually an incomplete folder also. Mm. It's not full. How many were there? 20 or so. Yeah, and there's, I think, 102. Yeah. For a full one. It's quite empty. It is, but as long as you note that in the listing, that's fine. Um, but the ones to look out for that do have really high value in them is the Dragon Ball Z Tarsos. Mm. Mm. Um, but yeah. I think Simpsons as well. Yeah. Simpsons and Dragon Ball Z. Definitely Dragon Ball Z though. Yeah. And you know what? People also want that. Yeah, the actual album. As this well. is the original album. It's got the, uh, if you flip it open a little bit, you'll see here all of the, uh, like those um, sleeves. Mm. would be really sought after too, I'd imagine. Mm -hmm. So people aren't just buying it for the actual item, which yeah. are these little, obviously, little, little Tarzo pieces. Yeah. But as you can see there, that's a Simpsons one there, the dog. Yeah. Um, yeah, so full collection album. Courtney's got a few there. She's done well because that was, that was all you. Was it 45 It was. Yeah. $45. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, the next one is this PlayStation carry bag. Mm. Is that for a console? For a console. Yeah. Absolutely. Minus the console, so just the bag. Just the bag. Um, was that a $37.95? $37.95 um, yep. for that one there. A little bit frustrating to ship it off, right? It is. Uh, I'm going to have to put it into a box, um, try and compact it down so we're not paying too much in shipping. Yeah. What do you reckon it'll ship for? Uh, probably like 13 Yeah. It'd be yeah. nice if it does. Yeah. I think it could be maybe 15 to 17 but we'll see. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's an original... Play, like really nice embroidered PlayStation um, carry case for the original uh, Xbox console. Xbox? Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I actually don't have one here, but yeah, this is the old. This is, this is a PS1, so it's not for that console. I just... <laughs> it's, not, it's not for that one. No. But the, you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, and it's original, so you don't actually find too many of these. Yeah. So I got that, that off Selwyn uh, two or three weeks ago. Yeah. And we'll be able to sell it straight away. Yeah. So it's a cool item, guys. Anything sort of like vintage video game related uh, is definitely worth buying. We sell a lot of it. Are you a Kim K fan? No. Nah. <laughs> oh. I mean, like, yeah, but I, I just haven't watched it. Neither have I. No. But this sold. Keeping up with the Kardashians. Hmm. Now, remember how you did that big cull of all the DVDs? Yeah. I thought that this would have been a TV show that might have got culled. I think I did, because I think we had a, a fair few, maybe? We did. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I think this is literally all we now have left. Yeah. So, it sold for $50. Mm. Um, so, that's a much more efficient way of selling, because instead of having multiple listings, we've now only got one listing. Mm -hmm. It just sits up here, ready to go, and then sure enough, now we can push them all out the door. So... I wouldn't say, though, we're going to buy that again. No, I was going to say that. I wouldn't look for that. Don't, yeah, that's a, that's a great point. Don't yeah. look for keeping up with the Kardashians. It's a very slow sell-through rate TV season yeah. uh, series, and there's a lot of them out there. Yeah. Um, I would only say to grab them if you've got, like, a lot like this. Like, and not even cheap. like this. Yeah, one cheap. But two, you would want kind of all 15 or 16 seasons. Mm -hmm. That'd be the only way I'd purchase it. Yeah. But um, still, forty nine ninety five. We'll put it into a box, I reckon. Yeah. Because there's quite a few there. We've got some boxes from Bunnings. So mm -hmm. there's one not to look out for. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we had these sell, uh, which were some Pokemon cards that we got just last week. I think the sell through rate on these were like three or four days. Uh, we got them off Selwyn in a private buy. So we've got the Blastoise GX there. And then in the same set, we've also got the Wartortle as well. Um, we, do have, we do have all three. And I ummed and art about selling them as a set of three. Um, but I didn't in the end because they do sell pretty well individually and you probably get a few more dollars for them when you do them individual as well. And um, we've got a Squirtle there that we're trying to sell too. So uh, there are a few other Pokemon cards that I did get off Selwyn. Um, these two were the best of the bunch. The Blastoise ended up selling for $100. Uh, and we also got a $55 sale price on the Wartortle as well. So about $150 in Pokemon cards. Um, we'll keep them in their top loader. We'll put them into a pad of mailer. And uh, we'll also put some cardboard front and back as well, so there's no bending going on in, in shipment. Mm. Um, but man, Pokemon cards have done so well for us over the years. Uh, even these modern day ones, like this is a 2023 card. Um, so last year these were made and they're still selling for upwards of 150 each. So definitely be on the lookout. So we got a pair of shoes again this week. Uh, another men's pair. These ones here which are the Nike NXT basketball shoes. 
um, big sides as well. They're 11 and a half. Yeah. USA 11 and a half. They were 80 and they're going international as well. So they paid international shipping on this. Um, not sure where they're going, but. Off overseas. $100 in revenue uh, for a pair of used basketball shoes. Yeah. So have had them for a little bit in store. Yeah. There's still plenty of wear, as you can see on the tread. Um, you know, there's still plenty of life left in these shoes. So, you know, shoes are a category that we sell a lot of. We've got them all here, as you know, and they do sell pretty well throughout the uh, each and every week on eBay. So, yeah, well, I don't know. Postage mm. internationally, we've already got the money for it internationally. So, see what it goes for. See what it goes for, but yeah, happy days on that one. And I think number one might be a shoe as well the Nike Shocks. Really, really good pair of shoes. Over the years, I've been able to sell quite a number of these, and I actually loved the colorway of these, Corny. Mm. Don't know if I'd rock these myself. Yeah. But um, they're unique. Yeah. I haven't actually seen a pair of shocks in this colorway before. And sometimes the colorway of shoes can cause the value to spike. Um, so I don't know if that was anything special for this pair. Mm. Um, but I priced them up per the standard price of shocks, which is generally, if they're in good condition, anywhere between $80 to $120. Um, these sold for $85 and they're off to Mexico. Um, the shipping that we ended up getting for that was $35 mm. uh, for shipping to Mexico. It might be a touch more than that yeah. uh, to send it to Mexico though. But it's $120 in revenue uh, for a pair of shoes. I can't actually remember where we got them from. But I think uh, I would have paid no more than a typical purchase price of $15 to $20. So if that was the case, $15 to $20, I'll have to go back and check. Uh, into $120. Very happy to see those go as well. So that is the Monday run, mm -hmm. uh, 21, 22, 23 odd items. Yeah. Um, so Courtney's got her work cut out for her yeah. right now. Now guys, it's usually this time of the week that I receive an email from flipweekly.com who are also the sponsor of today's video. Flipweekly.com is a newsletter that documents the journey of Matt who is an eBay seller himself uh, and he basically documents everything from what he finds to what he goes on to sell it for. And I've been really quite blown away by the items, one, that he's been able to find, but two, by how much some of these items actually go on to sell for. I was reading a recent issue of his and uh, he was able to sell some Mad Magazine comic books for $1,000 and he paid just $20 for them. Um, so he, he always puts up information like this and I'm actually learning quite a bit. Um, and he reached out to me and he said, I'm trying to grow my audience of this newsletter. Do you mind if I sponsor one of your videos? And I said, look, based on the fact that I'm reading this each and every week and getting a lot of information from it, I feel like you guys that are watching are probably going to want to see this information as well. So um, a link in the description below for Matt's newsletter. It's every single week a ripping read. And uh, I highly recommend that you guys follow it. And Matt, thank you very much for sponsoring today's video. All right, let's talk about some changes that we made from... October onwards last year. This is about six months worth of work. First stage of the process for us in October was a growing awareness that the third bedroom in this townhouse of mine was overflowing with dud stock. Bad buys, a lot of cheap DVDs that were just towering up the walls. And I did document a little bit of it that we basically just culled it out. We, we took it from 2,600 items and we brought it down to 15 or 1,600 items that it sits in now. We basically culled 1,000 to 1,100 items out of the store and that was so therapeutic to do. One of the best things we've ever done. Now that took three months, October, November and December to work through the entire store as a bit of a stock take. Um, so that was stage one. Stage two was then to work out a new game plan as to what to list moving forward. and. Rather than putting quantity in, which is ultimately the reason that led to a third bedroom being filled up, we, we shifted things in January, January 1, to a dollar value amount going in being listed. So we've listed $500 a day for the last 85 days. Not It, it could be two items, it could be 20 items, whatever gets us to $500 in value. And what that does is it makes you very intentional about the items that you buy because there's an opportunity uh, there's an opportunity to be efficient, which there isn't when you're just trying to find a certain number. If you're trying to find 10 items, you can't make that any more efficient than having to list up 10 items. But you can be more efficient if you were to find two items worth $250 a piece and be able to buy them at a price that you could profit on. So I said to Courtney, no matter what the value ends up being, as long as it hits $500, you can cut it off for that day and move on to listing $500 again for the next day. Um, so 
we've kind of gone down that path of listing three and a half thousand dollars in value a week seven days five hundred dollars a day three and a half thousand dollars going in and my thoughts and the reasonings behind wanting to do this was one of efficiency you don't have to list as much potentially if you're buying the right quality high valued items um, but two, if you think about it from eBay's point of view, they probably don't care so much about the quantity going in, but they do care about the dollar amount that's going in because they get a cut off the dollar amount. So in their best interest, they want as much money going into the platform as possible. But on the other hand, they also want to keep you around as a seller. And the way to do that is to reward you with sales for the work that you do on the platform. So if you're consistent and you're listing up items all the time, they have to kind of reward you with sales or you're going to leave and go and try and sell on another platform. So my thoughts were $500 in is better than listing up $10, $20 items because those $10, $20 items is only $200 going in. So I shouldn't see a drop off in sales if I list two items, but I put $500 in because that's much more money than the 10 for 200. Um, hopefully that little example there makes sense. But that was the mentality behind the reason why we stuck with the $500 number. And that $500 number was on the assumption that we could try and hold three to $400 in sales a day. And that would give us our overall annual goal. So we still had an annual goal that we wanted to try and hit, um, which is the same number as we did last year, $130,000 in revenue, ten to $11,000 a year um, in, in monthly, sorry, ten to $11,000 a month in revenue. Um, so if we pull the numbers up here to give you a look at what's taken place in the first 85 days of this year, you'll see that we've been able to do some pretty steady sales numbers. And this is on the back of listing far less because we've only been working off a $500 listing goal. Uh, and we've been buying better quality items as well. So $29,713 worth of sales to 85 days. With five days to go, we're going to only need you know $300 to be able to surpass that $30,000 milestone. And that was like the par mark. I really wanted to hit at least 30 after three months, but obviously anything past that um, was going to be amazing. I would really have liked to have seen 33 to 35. Um, but with this change in efficient listing and, and not listing as much, just listing quality only, um, these numbers here, I was worried that might have fallen because we were listing less volume. But because we've obviously maintained consistency, um, we've been able to still get a very, very similar number. Now, you might see 8.5% drop in revenue there. But if you think back to last year, which is what this is comparing it to, um, we had a massive eBay store buyout. Um, it was a $3,000 purchase and it was a $20,000 worth of value eBay business that we bought. Um, you might have remembered it if you've watched this channel for a little bit of time. But um, that was so many massive $100 listings going in in the month of February. Um, I think we did about thirteen or fourteen thousand dollars worth of revenue. It was just a really good month for us, um, so that's why I'm not too concerned by the drop in eight and a half percent compared to last year. Um, it, it's thirty thousand is putting us on track right now for one hundred and twenty thousand this year, and we did one hundred and thirty thousand last year. But you remember, you've obviously got your big, you know, Black Friday sales and things like that coming up in October and November, where you make up a little bit extra. So, um, so let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments. But speaking of listings. I need to go out and do some thrifting to try and find some more listings. So let's get out, use this same process of monetary value only and try and find the good stuff while we're out in the thrift. First item up were these Nike Air Prestos. These are a great pair of shoes because the condition is so good and that's something I'm placing a big, big focus on when I'm sourcing my shoes. These were $35 in store, so unfortunately on this occasion, I had to put them back on the shelf, but have a look at the tread on those. There is plenty of life left in those shoes. So that was unfortunate, but uh, I jumped into the clothing section, which is something that I'm unfortunately having to pay a little bit more of attention to. This Deliveroo jacket was going for about $50 to $60 with multiple comps, a lot of them international. Um, but buying this for a pretty cheap price in a thrift store, I'm just going to give it a go. Why not? Just something unique that I haven't seen before that maybe somebody out there is really after. So good average sale price on it. Let's give that a crack. I've also grabbed this because of the reverse weave. Um, these champion um, hoodies and, and sweatshirts do go for some pretty good money. I think I can get about $40 for this. Uh, so happy to pay a few dollars in the thrift. And then this one here, I've ended up putting back on the shelf. It was just priced a little bit too high, but a Katmandu Altica, um, this was just a thin uh, thermal underlayer, um, but it was only worth about 25 bucks. So to pay eight in, in store wasn't really worth it. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen this Monopoly board game. This was a vintage bookshelf edition going for about 50 bucks. Again, a lot of international comps on this. 
Um, so I had a good look over everything and it looked like it was complete and I was just about to buy it. Then I realised there was no board. So pretty hard to play a Monopoly board game when you don't have a board, right? Um, $12 on these. These are the Nike, or sorry, I should say Levi 569s. Uh, 36 waist, 34 length. That's pretty good. And so is the price. You can get about $45 for this as well. So to pay 12 yes, it is a bit more clothing, which I'm trying not to do. Uh, but you can only play with what's in front of you, I guess. Another pair of jeans as well. I used to buy a lot of these. I used to sell a lot of these. G-Star. And just because I'm not doing clothing so much is the only reason why I've stepped away from it. But I checked the comps again. And, well, they were still pretty strong. You get about 50 bucks for these. So I've gone ahead and taken those. So in the end... This thrift store run produced quite a number of clothing items, which I don't normally do. Well, that's worked out really well for us, guys. $21 is all we ended up paying. For some random reason, we have received a $10 discount. And I didn't even know there was a sale running in there. I don't know what discount was applied for what item. But at the end of the day, six items secured for just $21. We're working on an average sale price of about $3.50. On top of the four items that you saw that I ended up grabbing, I also bought these as well. This Canadian Club Buckets hat comps on eBay between $30 to $40. So I'm going to go $34.95 uh, on that one there, and I reckon we might be able to get that. Canadian Club just seems to do really well. Um, and then I've got a Panthers Grand Final hat here. This is the Panthers Rabbitohs 2021 NRL Grand Final hat. Um, it was basically new. It's got its little tag on it. Um, some little embroidery on the back there as well, 2021. I think this being pretty much like new should be able to sell for about 35, 40. Um, I'll probably go 35 on it to hopefully get a little slightly quicker sale. Um, but the hats are only $3 each and I am a bit of a sucker for buying hats when I'm in thrift stores. I just can't help myself. Um, so six items, $21 spent. It's a pretty good start to our run. Well, I wanted to find a few more items to finish off this day, and this one was a huge one in the next store. For $15, every single episode of the TV show Buffy. Now, I have sold this a few times in the past, and you can actually get some great money. Comps on eBay upwards of $85 to $90. So, shipping won't be too bad on that. Might be upwards of $20, but not too bad for the, for the sale price. Uh, these are a great pair of shoes, the Asics Gel Light V. Uh, these are in, again, great condition. Um, you can sell them for about $50, but the comps on eBay, or the comps in store, $25, so I couldn't, couldn't go ahead with that. Um, this is a brand of jean that I have not seen for a very long time. Subi uh, is the brand. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, you can get about $50 for this brand. Um, it's a really good one to find. I just haven't seen a lot of it. There was actually a second item of this in store, but it wasn't in as good a condition. So I've, in, I've ended up just grabbing these for $15. Uh, the size was pretty good too. It was just a 30 inch waist. Um, I like to try and play between 30 to 34. Um, even 36 actually can go all right. The slightly bigger sizes do do well. Um, had a bit of a look at the video games and the DVDs and I thought we'd actually come across a good one here with this Crash Bandicoot game. Um, but unfortunately for $4, it was only comping up to be worth $15 on eBay. Uh, so for that reason, I've actually ended up leaving that one behind. It would need to go on a tracked envelope for $5, and that pretty much whittles away all of your profit. I did leave arguably the best item for last, though. Check this one out. We've got a pair of Kobe Bryant basketball shorts. This was awesome. That's the Kobe Bryant Mamba Mentality logo. Um, and these shorts, well, I'm going to probably list them up for $70 to $80, believe it or not. Anything Kobe just does very, very well. Um, they are a size medium. They're in excellent condition, and I'm paying just the $12 for them in store. So I was pretty wrapped with that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Here's another awesome video if you want to watch it. Um, like and subscribe.